हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन मोर न्यू टॉपिक इट्स कॉल्ड वेक्टर सर्ज रिले वेक्टर शिफ्ट रिले और फ्रॉम जेनरेटर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इट इज कॉल्ड एज रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी रिले आर ओ सी ओ एफ एक्चुअली द वेक्टर सर्ज रिले इज अ फास्ट एक्टिंग डिवाइस दैट डिसकनेक्ट ए सिंकोनस जेनरेटर फ्रॉम द ग्रेड वन दैर इज अ डिस्टर्बेंस सो एक्चुअली दिस आवर ग्रिड फ्रीक्वेंसी स्टैंडर्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी इज फिफ्टी हर्ज इन इंडिया so grid frequency allowable oscillation or variation is plus minus 3 percent that is 48.5 hertz to 51.5 hertz above 51.5 or below 48.5 it is a treated as disturbance but with certain setting time we have to wait otherwise we need to treat the equipment so we are using cns make mrn 2-1 and uh, one more is mrn 2-2 uh, that is mrn 2-1 is Uh, that is the uh, angular the vector shift relay it is actually utilizing that vector shift angle angular deviation mrn 2-2 having that rate of change of frequency or the df by dt functionality is there so 50 hertz frequency means what actually 50 cycles per seconds in one second it is completing 50 cycles so i will take one cycle timings is 1 by 15 this is nothing but 20 milliseconds so one cycle is equal to 20 milliseconds now if you see here that uh, sinusoidal wave the total angular cross over is 360 degree for one cycle that will take 20 milliseconds that means what this 20 milliseconds is now equal to 360 degree so 1 millisecond is equal to 18 degree this is the basic fundamental degree measurement in terms of time or in terms of degree measurement is there if it is taking more time then there is a abnormality is there if the time is less also abnormality is there so suppose i will give a example here instead of suppose i will take uh, 20 milliseconds i will take 40 millisecond to complete one cycle then what will be my frequency so here it is original frequency 50 hertz and the new frequency we are taking one cycle so the two cycles equal to one cycle here this is the blue color is the Oh, new one. Whereas this red color is the original frequency, the 50 hertz frequency. So I will take that for 40 millisecond to complete my new cycles. So this is crossing at 40 millisecond. This is 21 cycle plus 20. This is 40 milliseconds. So what will happen? My frequency will be one cycle is equal to half cycles. So two cycles equal to one cycle. One cycle is equal to one half cycle of the new one. And 50 hertz frequency here means it is 25 hertz. So this will become a 25 hertz. so like that if i reduce the time instead of 20 milliseconds suppose my new frequency is crossing or completing one cycle in 10 milliseconds then what will happen this is the 10 millisecond this one is 20 milliseconds one cycle here red one and the half portion is the 10 milliseconds so if in a half millisecond the green one you see that is completing one cycle that means what for 50 hours for a one cycle here the new one it will complete two cycles so in 50 hour cycle or 50 cycle it will cross 100 cycle that means it is 100 hours so the green one is 100 hours now you can see here timing the 20 millisecond timing if i increase it or decrease it automatically the frequency variation happening similar way degree also it is variation happening so in case of disturbance suppose there is a frequency variation happening what will happen that this is the normal frequency flowing uh, suppose due to disturbance something happen this will not touch the zero crossing here in this point this is the original one it is supposed to cross here in this particular time and particular degree but instead of that the faulty time it will deviate from the original one so what whatever may be the deviation is there that is called as delta theta or the vector shift or the angular deviation so actually in relay actually internally it will keep measuring four cycles that is this is first cycle second cycle third cycle and fourth cycle each cycle it keep on um, measuring the zero crossing time so it is supposed to cross 20 millisecond with allowable uh, deviation beyond that it will be treated as abnormal conditions so every four cycle keep on measuring again after four cycles again it will reset and it will measure the new value new timing or new degree so like that this is a four cycle supervision is method of supervision is there do there is a inbuilt 
protection will be there. You can see here, this is Ciprotec internal, this thing, there is two functionalities there. One is called as UB, UF and OF, under frequency and over frequency. That under frequency means, that is, you can see here 48.5, now again dropping to 47.40. You see, if it is 48.5, it is 5 second delay is there, beyond 5 second it will trip. If uh, 48, 47.40 is there, then 2.5, now time is reduced now. Like that higher frequency, 51.5, then it is 5 second delay is there. If it is again rising to 52.6, then the time will be less. So like that, one more protection is called rate of change of frequency protection is there. This is the actually DBA that the oscillation will be there plus minus 1.5 hertz per seconds. Uh, this is called as ROCOF. Actually, it is oscillation will be negative side or positive side. This is a negative rate of change of frequency. This is the positive rate of frequency change. So plus minus DF by DT minus. This is the oscillation to this 1.5 hertz per second. Then there is a delay will be there 2.0 uh, seconds or 2 seconds. And like that, this is the positive rate, 1.5 hertz per seconds, and this will also delay will be there. Two seconds delay will be there. Like that, this is called as ROCF. If this setting value exceeded due to some abnormal fault condition, immediately it will trip, it will isolate the grid breakers. This is the functionality of rate of change of frequency in generators. So our generator actually we are using Ciprotec 7EM62. This is the inbuilt protection. And also vector search angle in the MRN actually settings actually available in the relay is 2 degree to 22 degree and uh, some angular setting recommended setting is there from in the relay itself for low impedance circuits or low impedance means 4 degree to 6 degree we can set delta theta and high impedance means 10 degree to 12 degree delta theta we can set but as per our requirement we can set the angle. Actually, our end setting vector surge angle is 11 degree actually uh, given or we are utilizing 11 degree set point is there. So, our end is CNS MRN 2-1 connected line bay or incomer bay or grid bay actually. This is the uh, vector surge relay actually we are using in the substations, 220 kb substation. It is not in the generating sites. Huh? So, that model is same CNS make MRN 2-1 so here the how the settings are there you can see here this, this L1, L2, L3 is the voltage showing in phase in the secondary voltage if you go to select this is L1, L2, L3 R, Y, B phase this is the present frequency how much it is showing 49.97 frequency is there then minimum and the maximum, this is the last maximum frequency attended fault time, 63.83. This is the angular difference between the R and Y phase. And this is the Y and B phase angular difference. This is the R and B phase angular difference. This is the last vector uh, uh, such degree deviation happen maximum and minimum. Next is the that uh, secondary of voltage transform PT secondary connection that is star connection or delta connection that is showing Y by means star. Next is it is the actually in this uh, relay particularly we are using only the vector search or the angular deviation we are setting we are using remaining in this relay we can see here under voltage first stage under voltage second stage over voltage first stage over voltage second stage then even uh, the time delay frequency even that frequency uh, uh, first stage second stage third stage frequency protection is there but we are not using anything except that only the angular difference or the vector search angle so this is the by default given so you want on voltage alram is like 40 milliseconds given like that just we have to keep pressing here this is the nominal frequency we are setting the system frequency we are setting as 50 and this is the uh, actually measurement as I described actually in that theoretical part that it is measuring four cycles the so last four zero crossing point or the timings or the degree it will 
keep measuring and it will be reset in the next cycle then. so here actually that frequency again that settings is there that we are not using here we will come to the th last one you can see this is the uh, three phase measurement or single phase measurement like one out of three or three out of three actually we are measuring three phases uh, three out of three so our all three phases division happening that angular difference then only we are giving a trip command like this is the measurement uh, we are using uh, otherwise we can use for single phase one out of three phase this is the angle degree or the vector such angle degree we are using 11 degree now you can see this is the uh, minimum voltage threshold for uh, before blocking that uh, operation so this is the uh, 5 volt is there and this is the uh, mode of us communications actually if uh, we are doing slave address this slave address is one so if you're doing mode bus communication this is the rs is the slave address so these are the all settings about this mrn 2 test one vector surgery suppose we want to change any setting like you now uh, we can change suppose 11 degree is the vector surge angle given so if you want to change it means just pressing minus means it will come 10 now. So pressing enter, and pressing password it will ask, pressing for 3 seconds it will save. So suppose I want to check it again. So our new value is 10. Now again I want to change it to actually original values to 11. 11 no? So just now I changed to 11. Again I have to press save. Again for save. For 3 seconds it will save. So like that new value you can set it. So again we have to check whether it has been selected or set or not. Just to go to the initial voltage frequency then uh, minimum maximum last frequency like that maximum deviation this is the star connect state pt secondary next to that on voltage second stage first stage over voltage this is the nominal frequency cycle of measurement next uh, that frequency stage one stage two timing trip and that is next stage 3 default time again this is three phase measurement or single phase measurement and angle it was originally 11 so again it is set to 11 degree so this is all about how to change the settings you can see here so secondary pt voltage is coming 114 volts actually our primary side voltage is 233 kV is there. Okay, friends, thank you for watching this video.